Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of China Teacher, where I share with you what it is like to be an English teacher in China. Today, I want to talk about something that goes to the core of why I make these videos. My brother mentioned to me last time I was back home, a little over a month ago, a concern he had、uh, about my channel. He asked me why I share my best teaching techniques and business strategies、uh, on YouTube. He thought it wasn't wise to do so. My, my answer did surprise him a bit. So, if you want to know why I do this, why I share what I share on my channel, then don't go anywhere. And see you on the other side of the intro. Be a real bad boy.、Mm. Welcome back, everybody. If you're new here, let me tell you that in this channel, I talk about three things. I talk about what life is like in China as a teacher. I also share with you guys tips and strategies for both teachers and students. And I also give you some cultural insights into life in China. So if you're interested in any of these, then consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the bell button. That way, you'll be notified whenever I have a new video out. All right, so let's get on to the topic. There are several reasons why I don't mind or why I actually enjoy and like sharing my best strategies and techniques for teaching and running my ESL business here on YouTube. All of these reasons have their own weight, so I will talk about them in, in no particular order, okay? So,、um, without me wanting to sound too much like the, the book The Secret, yeah, there is, there is some of that in this explanation, all right? I think that when you let go of your best, both in your mind and in your heart, you, you're immediately faced with the need to fill that void with something new, with something else. You know, it's、uh, out with the old, in with the new kind of mentality, you know? So, so the reason why I share my best techniques is to, to force myself to come up with new stuff, new, new business ideas, new business strategies, new, new ways of teaching the same, but in even more compelling ways. It is a way to clear space for, for innovation or perhaps to, to, to develop trend setting. It is a way to, to reinvent myself, to reinvent my business model, my, my life in essence. So there you go. That, that to me is a very, very powerful reason to work on this channel. Now, in addition, there, there is something that needs to be said about me as a person. I have always wanted to be a leader in my industry. I, I do not hide that fact. And I guess that. You cannot pretend to be a leader if you're not giving people tools to improve, the, to improve themselves.、Um, so, in the context of YouTube, that actually means putting out useful content. You know, doing otherwise would just be mediocre. You end up leading nobody nowhere. So, yeah, I put my best practices in teaching and building a successful business out there in the public eye with a clear objective in mind to become a leader. I think the leaders are at the front, fr forefront of the industries, and that's That's what I'm attempting to do, you know? I'm in the process of reinventing my business, so I feel perfectly fine sharing my current slash previous business model with the public. So, <laughs> you heard it right. Now you know it. I, I have something new that I'm working on in my brick and mortar business that、uh, makes me feel fine letting go of my old yet successful model. Let me, let me give you an example, right?、Um, My, my brother asked me about sharing my pricing strategy. Yeah, he, he asked me whether I was afraid that someone would copy it, whether perhaps I was giving away the key ingredient to the sauce, you know. So, my answer to him was no, that, that I was not afraid. So, he was perplexed. He said, Why? And, and here's what I said I, I think that there are two reasons why we shouldn't fear、uh, sharing our best、uh, ideas. Number one, At least for me here in China, China is a huge country. There's room for everybody to have a successful business. So、uh, perhaps I should make a very short parenthesis here. In all honesty, I believe that this pricing system, the ones that you can go check over here, yeah, is the key to my success、uh, and the long life of my center here in China. There is here in the city or all over China, there's a new training center opening every single day. And on the very same day, perhaps there's two centers closing. So you gotta ask yourself how have I, Fernando Galfe, managed to stay alive and ahead of the competition for 15 years? Well, I believe it's, it's because my business model is counterintuitive.、Uh, I do not go for the big bucks in the shortest time possible.、Um, I rather go for the, 
that steadily increase income. That's that's something that is not particularly exciting to investors or, or to people who have recently come to China and are hoping to hit the jackpot and make a lot of money uh, in a short time. But it's worked for me. So back to my answer to my brother's question, I said that I'm not afraid to ch share my pricing system because I believe that, in fact, very, very few people out there have the guts, have the mindset to put all the effort that is required into making something happen. The uh, truth of the matter is that most people want to have things handed to them. They, they don't want to make things happen for themselves. And that, fortunately, is the key element that differentiates an entrepreneur from, from the rest of the people. You, you could give your best blueprint for success to somebody and, and very, very few people would actually act upon it. So it, it, it's a fact of life. Entrepreneurship is not easy. It, it, entrepreneurship is a life of sacrifice and incredibly high ups and, and low, 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 deep lows that a lot of people simply cannot bear. You, you could give your blueprint to success to someone, but unless they have that entrepreneurial gene in them, then that blueprint would go to waste. Now, I am not suggesting that my business model is a blueprint to success, although I've said that expression a couple of times in this video. But there's one thing to be said for the long life of my business. I think that that speaks to its effectiveness. So there you go, guys. That's the answer to the question. Why do I make these videos? I hope, I hope that you're able to identify one way or another. And if you do, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. All right. So guys, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank you all for watching this video. And as always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you feel like sharing your, your thoughts about any of the ideas that I shared here, then leave a comment in the comment section down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Remember that Rome was not built in one day and each and every one of your subscription counts and is deeply appreciated. And okay, again, if you subscribe, Remember to hit the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I have a new video out, okay? And hey, kind reminder, follow me on facebook.com at China Teacher. Do not send me personal invitation requests. If I don't accept your request, please don't take it the wrong way. Just head on to facebook.com China Teacher and I'll be glad to talk to you guys over there, all right? Okay, so until I see you again, take it easy and bye for now.